Hey guys, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com and Cobalt Play as well. Uh, so this video is about we're looking to hire a new Unity developer uh, to join us in our team and publish Android games. So I thought I'd do a video on this and uh, sort of spread the news through the channel and also on the HowToMakeMobileGames.com forum. Uh, and then later I'll spread it onto other sites as well. But this is the best way to talk about this because uh, I think a lot of guys uh, from around, uh, from a lot of places do watch the channel. So it's an easy way to do it. So let me just go down my points here. I've, I've sort of listed out briefly what, what we're looking for at the moment. Uh, so we're looking to hire a full-time Unity developer. So you must have skills in Unity 3D uh, because that's the engine that we use. Uh, the salary that we can pay at the moment is not very high uh, just because we're a small studio. Uh, we have to keep costs low, of course. Uh, but it depends what, what part of the world you're in. So we're looking to pay $300 per month at the moment. And after a three month probation period, that will go up to $400 per month, okay? Uh, that also includes a 5% bonus as well, which is capped at $20,000 per month. Uh, just to explain what the $5% bo uh, bonus sorry, is that you make 5% of all of the game's revenue that you develop. And, but that's after the salary costs. So uh, let's just say, for example, that in uh, uh, one month, your, all of your games together make $10,000 um, uh, gross revenue. What we do is we minus the $400, which would be $9,600, and then you get 5% of $9,600. And that goes on forever as well. So um, it, it, the, the more games that are finished and the more revenue that your games make, the higher your bonus goes. It's not capped, uh, how can I say, it's not limited to the number of games. It's just capped at $20,000 per month. Uh, so potentially that, 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 that can grow into, a, into a, um, a big salary situation, hopefully. Uh, the developer that's working with us now, uh, he made a bonus in just from the second month uh, already. Uh, the first month uh, he, he was building more games and then by the second month he had built enough games that he was making the 5% bonus. Uh, so that's hopefully an incentive because I know the salary is not very high, uh, but the bonus can grow like a lot, lot bigger. So uh, that's that's the whole point in that. Uh, since um, uh, at the moment, because we're, it's it's not a, a massive salary, what we're possibly looking at is a postgraduate maybe, but I'm open to pretty much talking to anyone uh, about the position. Uh, we're looking, oh, I was looking mainly at um, developers based in India. Um, or Pakistan or Bangladesh, but I, again, I'm, I'm flexible on that and I'm quite open to anywhere in the world. Uh, at the moment, we, we're looking eventually to, to possibly open up a, an office in India at some point, uh, but right now, since that's not happening uh, immediately, the situation is that I can hire anybody anywhere. That's okay. So, but uh, generally because... Um, uh, because of the, the, the lower salary, it might be better for a postgraduate. But again, it's open, so you guys can just message me if you're interested. Um, next point. So, uh, the developer needs to build for Android and iOS. Um, so, if you don't have a Mac or an iPhone, that's n not a major problem. Uh, if, you, if you're just able to build for Android at the moment, that's okay. Uh, but Android, you need to be able to have you need to have your PC and your Android device to test on, uh, and be able to build Android games using Unity. If you have a Mac or if you have a um, a Mac operating system, and you can also build for iPhone as well and iPad, that's a definite bonus. Really, uh, that really helps a lot. So, all right, next point. Uh, so first off, uh, what the the goal is to just in the beginning is to just build small games. Uh, small single-player casual games that can be finished in around one week and the must-have what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to have multiple uh, levels in those games as well so it would be a single-player small game but with multiple levels uh, the reason is that because now I think that small single-player games where excuse me where you're just aiming for the score a high score is not really a good user experience in order to keep the player to retain the player we need to give them levels and have them uh, have a clear path for them. So they finish level one and they they move on to level two. Oh great, they finished level two. Now they move on to level three, and it's a clear progress for the player to go through, uh, not just a score, uh, a high score, because that's uh, doesn't really keep the player's attention. Uh, so small games at first, but larger projects. Uh, 
uh, you'll be working on larger projects later. Uh, the reason that we're doing small games at first though is because that keeps the risk lower and it, um, it allows us to go through the build process uh, and smooth that out before going on to bigger projects. Uh, next point, the, uh, you must be able to speak English and write English as well. Uh, that's very important, of course, just because of our communication and because of uh, the, the game, the main languages that we're using right now is English. Or the main target market is, is English, uh, English-speaking countries. Uh, next thing. Uh, so what I need to see, if anyone's interested, guys, please send me the, the links to your games and a video and a resume. Uh, my email is martin at cobaltplay.com and I'll put the details in the description of this video on YouTube or uh, on the uh, post on the forum, howtomakemobilegames.com. So you guys who are interested, then please get in touch. I know a bunch of guys, uh, you emailed me probably a few months ago when I did the a video about hiring somebody uh, maybe five months ago now, something like that, six months. Uh, so, you know, if you're still interested, then please email, please email me. And uh, I'm sorry I'm not replying directly back to your emails, but just because of time uh, and being super busy, uh, this is the easiest way for me to do it. So, all right, next point. So you can work from home. Um, of course, this is um, uh, because at the moment we're a distributed team, we work online, I'm in China, our developers in Tunisia, uh, our marketing guys in Bangladesh, and we're also working with a freelance guy in Europe at the moment. So um, you can work from home, uh, but you obviously need your own PC and your own device and your own Unity. Uh, Unity is free, the free version is, is no problem. And uh, yeah. So it's pretty flexible in terms of like time and when you can work as well, as long as we have the ability to communicate like daily uh, for things like feedback and design and just general communication. Uh, the design work, next point, uh, design work is very open. Uh, we'll discuss the game designs together, but if you have some cool ideas for games that you would like to make or some interesting game mechanic or something, I'm totally open to those ideas. You guys can design your own games so long as those games can be finished within like roughly one week and so long as they are fun and um, uh, can have multiple levels in the game, then that's great. Uh, I'm totally, you know, I'm very open to like guys doing your own designs and uh, building something interesting that you find, uh, you know, fun, fun to build. So, all right, need to be able to work on your own. Uh, yeah, so the important thing is, guys, uh, probably because this is a, uh, uh, somebody who might be coming from university or this might be your uh, first job or second job, you need to be able to work on your own. This is very, very important, guys. Um, it is very difficult sometimes for people to just sit at home and self-manage themselves without a team or a boss or a manager to be around you telling you what to do uh, also, you won't have that sort of like uh, friend developer sat next to you helping you do work and you know you go out for lunch together and, and all this. So it's very important that you're able to work on your own from home or in a coffee shop or something like that. The reason I'm highlighting this point guys is because it is not easy to do that and you have to, uh, you have to be able to uh, be comfortable with that situation. Uh, a lot of people do need to work in teams, they need constant management or supervision, which is fine, uh, and that's the way they like to work, uh, but uh, because you won't feel like you're in a studio because you're, you're working on your own, it's very important that you're able to do that. Um, but you will be in touch with me, of course, you will be in touch with our de uh, developer that's working with us now, also a marketing guy, and then uh, hopefully also our guy in Europe as well, who's, who's uh, doing some freelance work on Sniper XXX. So you guys will be an online team working together, but uh, you know you must consider that in your application. When you speak to me, if you, if you're interested, please be aware of that, okay? Because it can, if you're not used to it, it can get very difficult. Uh, always working on your own. Uh, you need to control your time. You need to be self-managed as well. Uh, the reason is that I'm very busy at the moment, and uh, in the beginning, of course, I'll, I'll give plenty of communication, and we can catch up on uh, Skype or email or uh, whatever's the most convenient for us, uh, depending on the time zones. But you need to be able to self-manage your time and also give yourself your own targets as well. Very, very important, guys. Um, next point, so let me just check. I mentioned that. 
Too busy, yeah. All right, so uh, must be able to commit to one year's work. Um, I don't want to be in the situation where six months later, uh, you know, somebody wants to quit. Uh, that's because we have to retrain and rehire, and it's a lot of trouble. Uh, you must be able to commit to one year's work. Uh, like I said, with the bonus system, guys, the uh, Cobble Play is a small studio now. We're a small business and we're a distributed team working in different countries. Uh, but the goal is to build up uh, an office with all of us working together in one place or, uh, you know, two or three offices around the world and eventually have everyone working together. Uh, the bonus system is really like a, a an incentive to, to work with me and to work with the other guys long term. So when I say that 5% bonus, um, you know, it, it's it could take a good few months for the games to build up and to ha actually to build up the games to build up enough revenue to give you a good bonus but if we have even just one hit game uh, from the games that you make and you make five percent on a one hit game then you could make twenty thousand dollars a month uh, which is great i've never made that money before so that would be awesome to do that uh, but it doesn't have to be a hit game you could finish 50 games for example and those those 50 games bring in uh, you know such a big amount of revenue that five percent of that revenue is uh, towards your bonus so that's the long-term commitment i know uh, for a lot of developers it's not just about money and it's not just about money for me either of course uh, i know that but obviously money is is uh, the main consideration obviously things like rent food and and so on and so forth so uh but yeah that's it so uh, anyone who's interested in working uh, with us and working with me at cobalt play uh, then please uh, drop me an email my email is martin at coboltplay.com um, I always check that email. That's the one that I'm on like pretty much all the time. Uh, please send me your resume. Uh, you know, just give me a little resume. You don't have to make it big. Just some background of education or what games you've done. Uh, if you do have a video link to your games, that would be great. Or if you have uh, the links to your games on, say, Google Play or a download link, that would be great as well. And uh, so I can see quickly like what you guys, uh, what you've done. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll keep my I'll put my email in the, in the description down here on YouTube and also on the howtomakemobilegames.com um, uh, forum as well. Uh, just so you know, I'm not replying to comments on YouTube anymore just because of time. Uh, I am replying to all of the comments and questions on our forum, uh, howtomakemobilegames.com and obviously my email as well. So, uh, But anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I'm really looking forward to like talking with some of you who have watched the channel for you know this past couple of years. It would be awesome to work with another one of you and, and uh, uh, start developing some cool games together. Anyway, happy developing, everyone, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.